Hey, what's going on guys? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Sorry if I sound a little bit sick. That is because I have allergies and it sucks. But today I'll be showing you guys how to create this awesome, cool looking transparency text effect. Uh, and I'll be showing you guys how to do that within Photoshop CS6 and it's really easy to do. So first of all, all you're going to need is a picture. So let me go ahead and close this. Okay. So I'm going to go over to File, Open, and I'm going to go ahead and open a picture. So I'm going to go with this one for the sake of this video. So once you have uh, done this, you want to go ahead and create a new document and name it 1280 by 720. Resolution should be 72. Uh, and then click OK. So then drag this image. So press Command A and Command C to copy it. Press Command V to paste it. So you can move it anywhere you want. So once you have done this, you want to go ahead and you want to create a new layer. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go over here where it says the new layer option. Click that, then go over to edit, go to fill, where it says use, make sure white is selected, mode normal, opacity 70% and, pre and uh, preserve transparencies unchecked. Click OK. Once you have done that, you want to go ahead and import your text. So I'm going to just name or I'm going to just type, um, I don't know, like, uh, uh, speed, or let's see, fast cars for this, uh, fast cars. So you also want to change the color of the text to be black. Click OK, um, and go ahead and resize it to your liking. All right, so once you have done this, uh, I'll put a bold. Whoops, I don't want bold. I'll go black. So once you have done this, all you want to go ahead and do is you want to select your layer. So it should be the white layer and your text. Press Command and click the layer or Control if you're on Windows. Do that and press Command G or Control G to group them together. Open up the folder and click the uh, text layer. So mine is fast cars. Double click that or go over to the uh, blending options by right click and go over to blending options. And once you're in the blending options where it says fill opacity, uh, first you want to go where it says knockout, change this to shallow, decrease the fill opacity. And you will notice that it starts to uh, be a little bit more transparent, which is really, really cool. A really cool effect you can do. Um, in uh, in pictures and click OK and now you're done. So if you wanted to change this, you can. You can decrease the opacity just like this. I'm gonna change it to about I say like say 60%. We're back to the text uh, and decrease it a little bit more so you can kind of see it, or you can increase it so you can see the text a little a little bit better. But that is how you do it. Uh, you can change this to deep. Uh, doesn't really do anything, uh, in my opinion. It's, it's kind of kind of pointless, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, if this helps you in any way, please, please leave a rating below. That will be much appreciated. And I'll, you guys, I'll catch you guys on my next video. Peace.